morning, A-Town. I'm Lily. It's Monday, September 9th, and here's what's happening at A-Town today. This week is National Arts and Education Week, and to kick off the celebration, we thought it would be a great time to introduce you to one of the newest members of the AHS Art Department, introducing Ms. Bustamante. Let me give you the shortened version of my name. I have a really long name, so Adriana Bustamante, Ms. Bustamante or Ms. B. Um, that's who I am. I'm the new theater teacher here. Yeah. Um, before coming here, I was teaching in Fairfax County, and before then, I was in Culpeper County. Um, this is my second year teaching theater in a high school, but I've been a teaching artist for, gosh, six plus years, and I used to teach Spanish, ESL, and elementary education. I have a master's degree in educational theater, and then I have an... Um, I have one, a bachelor's in elementary education, but I have four teaching licenses. So one of them is theater, elementary ed, Spanish, and ESL. And I've done theater for, gosh, as long as I can remember. Um, and I've done film as well, so. Nice. So I like to choose a theme, and the theme this year is human hope and despair. So, and for the fall, we're doing hope. And it will be It's a Wonderful Life, a live radio play. And then for the spring, we're doing Sweeney Todd, school edition. That will be for, you know, the despair part. And in regards to our VHSL competition, piece. It'll, um, the piece is called Me, My Monsters, and I, which is about a teen dealing with all these extra voices in their head and going through high school, you know? Uh, but that's what the season looks like this year. So um, there's still some audition slots. There are next Tuesday and Wednesday. They're here in this classroom. There is an audition packet, so just stop by room 41. And nothing, a monologue. And if you don't have one, it's okay. I have some provided for you. You don't have to memorize it. You can just go ahead and read it off. Uh, just show me what you got, and we'll go from there. Anyone and everybody's welcome. So, uh, there's still some audition slots. There are next Tuesday and Wednesday. They're here in this classroom. There is an audition packet, so just stop by room 41. And nothing, a monologue. And if you don't have one, it's okay. I have some provided for you. You don't have to memorize it. You can just go ahead and read it off. Uh, just show me what you got, and we'll go from there. Anyone and everybody's welcome. Um, so. Uh, this week is, you know, Arts in Our Schools Week. Um, can you talk about how arts programs in high school impacted you as a student, and what do you hope your students gain from being involved in drama? Yeah, um, well, while in high school, so I went to, um, I was in public school and homeschool during my high school career. Um, and while I was in public school, I was an orchestra kid, and I also did some band and choir. Uh, I was not able to do theater simply because I worked after school, but again, I did it otherwise later. Um, and it impacted me, one, I'm a teacher now in the arts, but also it just helps with, you know, personality and like social skills and later on in the workforce. I think it's very important to just have it also as a way to use it um, to being open to other cultures and traditions and things around the world, understanding other people. Arts tend to help with getting to know, you know, human nature and yourself. So, uh, and I think that's very important to just know the basics, even if, you know, I always say if you don't use it like a career, you'll learn something that you'll take onto different things that you do. Um, yeah, so, and then when I, you know, finished high school and such, and I had the opportunity to work in the theater, I definitely did that right away, and I loved it so much, so I'm here. Um, but that's what I can say about it. Nice. So you're happy to be here at Alamo? Yes, everybody's been so welcoming and nice. I'm looking forward to not just this year, but beyond, and uh, it's been great. Remember that today is the last day to sign up for an audition spot for It's a Wonderful Life. Auditions are tomorrow and Wednesday after school and all students are welcome to audition. Scan the QR code on the audition flyer outside the drama room to reserve your spot. Clubs are coming to AHS. The annual club fair will take place tomorrow on the breezeway during both lunches. You'll get a chance to meet a club sponsors and returning members and see which club is for you. The first club meeting day is scheduled for the Friday during Patriot period, so, this, so find your club and sign up. Now here's Patriot sports news. On Saturday, the AHS volleyball team hosted a, the Varsity Classic Invitational right here at AHS and earned a hard-fought second-place finish. Big stat days were turned in by Tumpe Manachanya, who had 25 kills, Morgan Ascoli added 20 more, and Lacey Mann had 7 aces. Grace uh, Sambaric had 45 digs, and Amelia Lynch helped out with 74 assists. Coming up on, next for the volleyball team is home match tonight <laughs> against Harrisonburg. JV serves it up at 5.30, followed by varsity at 6.30. 
Also on tap tonight, the golf team will head for, to Farmington for a Jefferson uh, District tournament where they'll, ha where they'll face lo all lo the local rivals on the links. We'll have those results for you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and thanks to Ms. B for her time. Remember, if you have any announcements to make or news to share, email us at wpat at k12rbmo.org. Follow us on Instagram and on the A Times Today YouTube page for online access to all our content. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow on A Times Today.